have. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be a little bit different because it'll be Chicharito and Bell will both get the field for the first time. And as great a season as you're having, everyone else kind of fades into the background a little bit. Do you like that? Do you like to be, or, or would you rather be? I don't care. <laughs> I literally don't care. As long as we're, we're playing well, we're winning, I don't care who gets the recognition or whatnot. I just want three points. That's it. You obviously looked at film of LAFC. And you, they're playing different than they did when you were there, right? Not as wide, more direct, the, the, the wingers stay back. Is that correct? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch them too, too much. I know um, I watched a couple of the last games against Portland. I remember I watched a bit in uh, Colorado. So I know they have a different approach to the game, but I think their identity and, and the way their philosophy, the way they play is still LFC football. So we're going to look at that and then we see how ways we can exploit them for, for the game coming up. Is it special at all for you to have been the first full-time, we'll call full-time, it was like a loanee last year, but a full-time player to play on both sides? Does that, does that mean anything or, or does it not mean Not really to me. Not really, not, not at all. And, and you had four assists through the first five games. I know um, if you go back in 2017, you were playing under Greg and yeah. you had six assists in that season. Yeah. Um, what is uh, what is it about Greg Vanny and, and getting you into an attacking phase? And were you even playing in the same position? Um, it was, yeah, little, little, I was left wing back, kind of the same position. Uh, what Greg does well is that he puts you in positions to succeed, obviously. He knows what to do and what, what needs to be done to put you in a position where you can you know, maybe a, cause havoc and, you know, m maybe be a difference maker. So that's that's I put it on him, uh, his tactical awareness and, and the way he just puts out the team is, is really good. Yeah. Is, is it also you, though, developing as a player? Do you feel like you're taking a step forward? Are things happening maybe in a little slower for you so that way you can see things? Yeah, that that as well. And I think a, a run of games, a lot of run of games. Um, I think this is like maybe the first time in two, three years where I had a full preseason and I came in sharp, ready to go. So yeah, I credit to that as well too, just having a good preseason. In terms of setting up and finishing that final action, where do you think the potential is for this team to continue growing and, and, and executing more? Yeah, I think um, our, our potential is really there. Um, I think, as you said, getting to the bar line and getting crosses in and not just having Chicha score, having more guys score. I think that's that's the point that we're trying to have uh, go, go towards as well too. And, and obviously our, our back line as well, I think we've Throughout those five games, even though we lost two games, I think we, our back line and just the way our, our team defensive collectively have, have played, I think we did very, very, very well, and I think we're going to continue to grow throughout the season as, as well. Uh, since LAFC came in, they've been the better team. In the Derby, the Galaxy have been the better team by, by a pretty good margin. From the LAFC side, did that wear on wear on the team? Is that anything that, uh, you know, is, is one of those things that we, we need to be, you know, we need to be the better team in our derby. Exactly, that, that, it goes for both ways. Back when I was with LAFC, it was like, we needed to be the better LA team. Here's and here's and more is the same, we need to be the better LA team. So, yeah, um, we're not gonna look at the past scores or whatnot, we're just gonna take it one game at a time. And obviously this is the Battle of LA, so it's gonna be electrifying as, 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 as like it's always been throughout throughout this short histories. So, you know, just bring it, bring it, bring it come um, game day and just be ready to, to go for it. When you're at LAFC and uh, and they're winning these, these Derby games, was, was yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit better. It's a little, it's a little bit much more than three points. Obviously, as, as I told you before, it's a battle of LA. You want to claim LA, so yeah, getting a win against your rivals is always a good thing, right? Obviously, it's a little, a little extra boost to, to maybe your season helps you kick off your season even more and, and whatnot. So yeah, it's good. So, so even though it's the same three points as in Portland last weekend, it, it means more. I mean, it means yeah, it means a little yeah. I can't, it means a little bit more, obviously for sure, because it's the battle of LA, um, and it's good for the morale. You know, you just wanna you wanna. Show your supporters. Obviously, you know the supporters here. They don't have, they don't get along too well with LAFC. So you want to you want to give your supporters something to brag about. Obviously. Does it feel weird being on the other side now? Uh, <laughs> not not really, not really. I'm, I'm gonna come game day. I'm gonna see all the guys. We're gonna chat back, back at LAFC. But once I get on the pitch, it's game time, competition time. Yeah. Thank you. Rohit, last you season you were playing a lot of different positions with LAFC. With LA Galaxy, it seems like you're gonna just play the left back position. How much has that helped you knowing that what you're gonna do every single day? Yeah, exactly. As you said, I know what I'm gonna do every single day. It's not uh, me adjusting to different stuff, but um. Yeah, as I said before, my time in LAFC was excellent. I, I enjoyed it very, very much. Um, even playing all the different positions, um, you know, I just want to learn. I just want to grab as much data and information as I can. But yeah, here being a left back, being out and out left back is definitely helping me and progressing me forward throughout this season. You've had a lot of assists this year. A lot of, a lot of people are keeping an eye on that. How motivated are you to keep performing on a high level and potentially get a call up for the national team? Yeah, um, I just want to continue to, you know, perform. It doesn't have to be assists. It can just be good gameplay, obviously. But I just want to keep playing consistently for my team for for Galaxy so I can possibly yeah, get a call up but as you know that's that's not in my hands obviously I just, I'm just going to do what I can do best and just play to the best of my ability. Raheem you played alongside Bella and now you're here with Chicharito and we we're just talking how they're going to face off for the first time um, just from your perspective and what they each bring for each team and, and the meaning how has that 
Yeah, yeah both of them. Leadership. Both of them are leaders of the team. They're the vocal points of the team. Now, Bella, obviously, as you guys know, he's been in the league for what three years now, three four years. Calvin ha Havoc on the right side. He's a guy that they look to, you know, to bring something special from them. And you know, Chicho, he's our leader. Of course, he's the one that you know mentally prepares us for the game and always wants to win. Has a great mentality. Always wants to, you know, go for it and and whatnot. So both of them are both obviously vocal points for their teams and respected them because they they take it with full heart and 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 yeah, they've been they've been re ex really excellent for their teams. Yep. What does um what Canada has done, qualifying and qualifying with such style. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's, it's recognition. Um, I thought for my first time here in MLS was back in what, 2016. I always thought Canadians were not overlooked, but not looked upon too, too much. And uh, now to, 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 to get our recognition, yeah, it's great. But obviously, I know me knowing the guys, it's, 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 it doesn't really matter. We're still going to try to continue to do our thing and, you know, turn heads and whatnot. Well, it's, I mean, it's been since 86. So, exactly. So what, what does this mean to the country? What it's, 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 a, it's a breath of a fresh air. It's kids could come and, and, you know, look at players like Mark Anthony, Jonathan Osorio, guys like that in the league and say, hey, if they can make it to the World Cup, so can I. Because people believe so. It's, it's, it's good. It's good for the nation. Is that it? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.